So today is Wednesday. We finally have some beautiful sunshine and, and no wind. Boaz just got a good grooming. You can guys can see that he's making such good improvement. Um, we're really excited for his hooves. They're really, really getting better. Um, there's less thrush to deal with. We're just not seeing any signs of um, white line, more white line. Now, of course, the damage is there and it's gonna take a long time for that to grow out, but I've been using a product called New Hoof Accelerator. Um, New Hoof Maximizer was what was suggested by a farrier, but I absolutely cannot afford it. So we're going with the Accelerator version and it seems to be doing great, wonderful things too. So we know that this is all in conjunction with prayers, but guys, look at Boaz. I mean, he's still a little dirty. I couldn't wash him. We're not quite that warm, but look at this guy. Look at his head. Uh, we're headed to the vet today to get his sutures out and hopefully everything is clear on his eye. It is a little puffy still. Um, I really think it's just part of the healing phase um, process that he's, he's in right now. It doesn't look infected, but it is kind of swollen. So you can see up close here. You know, say hi to the camera. Say hi to everybody, sweet boy. But I'm just so excited to see, look at his mane, his mane is growing. I think his tail has probably grown a couple of inches. Um, I really, really contributed to this, this new hoof stuff, um, this new hoof accelerator. I just, I've never used it and he's the only horse on it and I'm seeing such great results. We did have our farrier here uh, Friday last week and he did another trim on him. So more and more, slowly but surely, all of that old yucky dead hoof is getting carved away and shaved off. And then he's also, um, the big huge crevices and craters, I call them, in his hooves are getting less and less and less. So it's not as deep, but look how pretty he looks, guys. Well, we're getting ready to load up and head to the vet. So here's just a quick short video on how Boaz is doing. Here's the walk up to the trailer. Boaz gets a little bit hesitant and we think he has some trailer anxiety. Not sure if he just doesn't know what it is. Um, didn't spend a lot of time in a trailer most likely because I would say that he spent all of his time working on the farm until he couldn't anymore. So. We got him loaded and he was on his way to the vet. These next two images just show you what the growth looks like on his shoulder after we got it all cleaned up and shaved. Keep watching the video to see what we did next. All right, so here's Boaz. He just finished everything up today. Um, our vet did go ahead and open up the um what we thought was a lipoma on his shoulder and it ended up being an abscess so i've got a video recorded of all of the gunk and um, infection coming out you can see todd here is just um he's kind of walking boaz getting him used to moving about again and, and waking back up so pretty excited that we were able to remove that big huge growth on his shoulder that is amazing. Do you want to the Yeah, the, uh, the iodine. The, 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 the iced tea is correct. Iced tea. There we go. Oh, yeah. Well enough open. So this last little clip here, okay. what the vet is doing, you can see he's just opening up the incisions a little bit larger so that he could investigate more behind the skin without lancing it totally open, leaving a long incision. So there's just two small incisions for us to, to care for and to keep clean. We have all of the medicine we need. He's gonna be on some antibiotics a little bit longer. And hopefully this will be the end of this abscess. Hopefully it doesn't come back because of the and it can all heal up and he'll be good to go.